Hey everybody, my name is Kirk Jones and I will be helping Sue and Emily lead group strums this weekend in uh, Clearwater for Uke Fest in the district. But, uh, <clears throat> so uh, one of the songs that I presented or uh, to lead is Hit the Road Jack and it just has four chords over and over and over again. But sometimes if I put the chords in the sheet, on the sheet, people start getting focused on making the chords fit the words or the words fit the chords instead of just letting it flow. So I'm going to show you how to just let it flow and then you can concentrate on the lyrics. Uh, but uh, you will have a song sheet for it. And this is for everybody. Uh, if you want to play Hit the Road Jack, it's just four chords over and over and over again. Um, so uh, in this particular one, it's going to be in the key of D, D minor. So it's going to be D minor, C, B flat, A7. <clears throat> now you can do it like that where you're just strumming one time. If you want to add a little bit of a swing, you can go down, up, down for each chord. Down, up, down. So that's, that's basically it for the whole song. If you can, uh, uh, <clears throat> whether it's with us or by yourself or your own group or whatever, if you could just lock onto that first, down, up, down, down, up, down, whatever speed you need to do it at for your group's level, might be, need to be a little slower. And just keep that going. And uh, sometimes because that's a different strum pattern, maybe not everybody will be able to do that strum pattern and sing. So if you have somebody in your group that's really good at keeping in time, maybe give them a break and just let them keep you guys all in time and they don't have to sing. Maybe they can jump in on the chorus if they're comfortable with that. <clears throat> but then everyone, that'll be your metronome that you guys can all lock onto. Um, in our the big group in Clearwater, uh, we'll have me, Emily, and Sue doing it, and we'll lock it on first, and then I'll start singing once once I think that I can hear everybody locked on. So for those of you who might want another challenge, so we started off with one where you're just going down, 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 right? And then we added a little bit of uh, swing, down, up, down. So if you want another level, if you're like, hey, I can do all that, I can sing it, I can do everything like that. All right, try to do the original walk down. So we're going to do a D minor here, fifth, fifth fret right here, ring finger on the seventh fret of the G string. And then we're going to do a C here, which is your finger, your pointer finger across the third fret, middle finger on the C string of the fourth fret and then your ring finger on the fifth fret of the G string. That's a C, second position C. And then you're gonna do this with the G, I mean, uh, the B flat, which we're already doing. You might be doing this, but because we already have our fingers across it, I just leave it. And then you can slide it back to the A7, right? Add your middle finger. So if you want to think about it, it's fifth fret, third fret, first fret, no frets. Your pointer finger is not going to be on a fret. You're going to be playing an A7 there, though. So if, you know, if this helps out uh, to keep you in time, like I said, if you're playing with your own group or smaller group, if you need to go a little slower, go a little slower. 
is you just have to try to all stay together. Um, let let the better strummers strum while everybody else sings or some mixture of that. And then slowly all of you will be able to do whatever level you need to do and uh, be able to do it all at your own level. So see you in Clearwater and beyond.